Join here today with Hofstra's head women's basketball coach, Daniel Santos Atkinson. Coach, give us your thoughts following today's game against Charleston. Uh, we couldn't score. Uh, we, we, we could not, we couldn't score. We had some great opportunities right at the rim. We had some uh, good looks, uh, open opportunities on the perimeter. We weren't able to put the ball in the basket tonight. Uh, we, we, we've got to be able to step up and, and hit those shots with confidence. Um, I thought they were good rhythm shots at times. Uh, we wanted to get to the paint and be aggressive and attack. Um, at times we were fouled, at, at times we weren't, but we've got to stay aggressive offensively there and being able to score. Uh, defensively, I thought we did a good job. We got stops. At times we got stops. We held them for long stretches of time um, with very few, very little points. They shot 23%, 23%. Uh, third and fourth quarters of the game, I, th I thought we did a, a pretty good job of, of getting those stops, especially in the second half, but we didn't capitalize and score it on the other end. Coach, you mentioned it, uh, five, 15 of 55 from shooting, two uncharacteristic, two of 13 from the three-point range. Was, were the shots just not falling out there, or was it something uh, Charleston was doing defensively to prevent those shots? Um, I mean, they were going to pressure us. We, we knew that pressure was going to come. We knew they'd be aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a great job of handling their press, uh, which on the flip side, we turned it over 21 times in the half court. So in us being aggressive and looking to attack, we turned it over a good bit in some of those interior passes, um, but did a much better job of handling the, the press and the pressure there. Um, that might have sped us up and, and forced us into um, some rush shots, uh, but I thought we were looking to be aggressive and that's something that we hadn't done. And so in, in looking to stay aggressive in that way, We've got to look, we've got to continue to do that. We've got to get used to doing it. We've got to do it every day in practice so that when we do have those shots and those opportunities, we're ready to step up and finish them. Charleston's uh, Jada Logan, 25 points for the game, 19 in the first half. Uh, what was she able to do to allow herself to get those points and answer that, uh, ask that. Yeah, so I, I mean, she did a great job. Uh, she did a great job in that first half. She had 19, uh, she had over 75% of their points. Um, we, we, we should have adjusted a little bit earlier. Um, we made the adjustment in the second half and, and she only had six there in the second half. I thought they did a great job of, of staying in front of her and keeping her out of the paint and making it uh, tougher on her shots, more contested on those shots. Um, but she did a great job in that first half. We, we limit the everyone else from scoring. Uh, we were rebounding the basketball, our rotations were there, but she was able to get loose in some of those possessions and, and get downhill. Uh, she's strong, she's physical, and she finished. You won the battle of the boards today, 42 uh, for the pride. What was the key to getting, uh, to getting those rebounds, and especially in the offensive side, and allowing the team to have more chances? Yeah, um, defensively it was an intentional focus for us. And so every time that shot goes up, we, we hadn't uh, done a great job prior to this weekend of really boxing out. And so coming into this weekend, we knew that had to be an emphasis and it had to be a focus. Uh, we've been working on it all week uh, as we have all year, but it, it had to be intentional. And I thought they did a great job of limiting their offensive rebounds, which gave us more defensive rebounds. Uh, and then on the, on the flip side, offensively, yeah, a lot of offensive rebounds to get, um, fortunately. And so I thought they were aggressive. They got in there. They got after it. Um, came up with some of those offensive rebounds. And we'd have loved to capitalize on more of them, but we, we were able to come away with, with 10 points off of those 15. Allerys Gooden off the bench, 11 points. Uh, just talk about her impact on, on there and the spark that she brought from, from the bench. Yeah, she, uh, Aloe's been playing uh, very aggressive, and it's something that we need her to do. Um, she's strong, she's physical, she's got the ability to, to attack the paint and get to the paint. Um, she's versatile, can score on multiple levels. She's able to shoot the three and that pull-up jumper uh, as well. And so I think she, she looked to stay aggressive. She was finding her opportunities uh, and where she could uh, have an impact, uh, and she did. And so we've got to continue to have that from her continue to have her stay aggressive, um, but she also impacts us on the defensive end as well. Uh, she picked up multiple charges uh, and, and defending the ball, uh, and she was also able to, to rattle 12 um, and, and force her into some turnovers and some rush shots. Only one game coming up this week, home against Northeastern. Uh, what are some positives that you look to bring into from today and this weekend as a whole into the game against the Huskies and what needs work? Yeah, we, we, I thought in both games we, we handled the pressure much better um, in the full court. That, that's that been a, a, an Achilles heel for us is handing that pressure. I think we came away better after this weekend and, and more confident in handling that pressure in the backcourt. 
Um, uh, we looked and played way more aggressive and getting to the paint and getting to the basket more than we have in previous games. We've got to continue that. Uh, now we just got to get back and work on shoring up and sharpening up our execution. All the details matter offensively. Uh, we've got to sharpen that up. We've got to get back um, to playing with some confidence on that offensive side of the floor and we'll go into the weekend ready. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.